Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're still watching Cairo Local Time live on Nile TV International. And in this segment of our show, we're going to be talking about the World Tourism Day. And on this issue, we're glad to be joined here at the studio by Mr. Youssef Abdel Eder, member of the Egyptian community in Belgium. Hello, sir, and thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Hello. Uh, sir, uh, Egypt now is marking the World Tourism Day. Uh, well, uh, how do you see the significance of this day in promoting tourism in Egypt from your point of view? Uh, for sure, on this day, it's, uh, it's one of the great days to, to promote uh, tourism uh, everywhere around the world. Uh, for sure, Egypt uh, is uh, one of the amazing places uh, uh, that uh, all uh, world tourists are interested to visit it. Uh, that's why they are looking for more promoting. Uh, that's, uh, 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 then Egypt is uh, starting already since uh, the beginning of September to promote about this day. We're already bus uh, uh, busy since the 27th day about about uh, this uh, uh, project uh, to just to promote it on social media as uh, as a tourism ministry is started uh, is are going to promote uh, a lot of uh, government uh, in Egypt uh, like Giza like Luxor everywhere Siwa and uh, really they are uh, doing uh, yes good job well uh, how far do you think tourism is regaining its status in Egypt after the coronavirus pandemic uh, we accept in winter for sure a lot of tourism are uh, uh, ready to start to, to come back to Egypt uh, to enjoy the weather. Uh, we, we cannot forget uh, the warm weather in Egypt at this time in winter. Uh, and uh, not only the European for sure, but uh, many uh, Arab uh, countries are uh, organizing and are planning to start to visit Egypt in winter. And we already get, I think, uh, a good uh, season in the summer. Uh, many of my family and my friends was already visiting Egypt in the summer. And uh, I accept uh, really in winter it will be uh, more and more. Right, well, uh, sir, just allow me to go to this report on uh, World Tourism Day and we'll be right back. Celebrating the World Tourism Day in the Red Sea Governorate today, Monday, Dr. Khaled Al Anani, Minister of Tourism and Antiquities, held a meeting with the CEO of the Egyptian General Authority for Tourism Aviation, the President of Egyptian Federation of Tourist Chambers, a number of tourist investors, assistant ministers for technical affairs and promotion, and some of the ministers' advisors to discuss organizing an event in one of the Red Sea cities. On the occasion of the celebration of the World uh, Tourism Day, which falls on the 27th of September every year, this comes within the framework of uh, the concreted efforts between the public and private uh, tourism sectors, uh, so that this event is the first in series of promotional events that will be organized during the coming period through cooperation between the Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities and the Egyptian Federation of Chambers of Tourism and Tourist Investors, uh, according to what was agreed upon during the lengthy workshop organized by the Ministry. In cooperation with the Egyptian Federation of Tourist Chambers, last Monday to review the features of the media strategy to promote tourism to Egypt, uh, during which it was agreed to organize a number of uh, tourism events and partnership uh, with the private tourism sector in an integrative manner and to coordinate the preparation of huge joint tourism, culture and artistic agenda to be organized in the tourist cities. Uh, different types of tourism to maximize the tourism also in culture role and to promote these tourist destinations. Uh, the event of uh, the World Tourism Day uh, celebration this year will include organizing a workshop and an art festival for sculpture, drawing photography and ceramics in the tourist walkway in Hergada, with the participation of 120 Egyptian and international artists from 12 countries around the world. In addition to organizing a music carnival and a presentation of the promotional films published by the ministry about the various Egyptian government rates. On its pages on the various social media platforms, as part of the propaganda campaign launched by the ministry on the first days of this month on these sites, to promote tourism to this governorate and will last for 27 days uh, with the governorate every day in celebration of the World Tourism Day. During the meeting, it was also discussed to organize another event in cooperation with the Ministry of uh, Culture on the occasion of celebration of the Sun's Baptism on Abu Simbel Temple in the month of October. Alexandria. 
شرم شیخ تو هگردن Try to descend the mystery of the Sphinx Meditate on the symmetry of the pyramids Explore incredible marine life in Marsala Safaris into the desert of South Sinai. Relax with a view of the Nile. Explore Egypt on Nile TV International. It's the project of the century. It has been making headlines since the announcement. This is Egypt's dream and Egypt's gift to the whole world. And under the directives of His Excellency President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, this great dream of Egypt comes true. And the message is Egypt can make it. We are full of enthusiasm in order to narrate this story of success to the whole world. The Dream is Loading documentary that Nile TV International has adopted. Dream is Loading on Nile TV International. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm still with my guest, uh, Mr. Yusuf Abdel Eder. Uh, well, uh, sir, uh, as a member of the Egyptian community in Belgium, how do you see the role of expats in uh, promoting tourism in Egypt? Uh, for sure, we have a lot of uh, roles to do, not only for tourism, but if we speak about uh, tourism, uh, that's mean we have to, to, to promote uh, well as, as, uh, what we, we want uh, get it in Egypt. For, Beld, uh, for example, uh, in, Egypt, in uh, Belgium, uh, we have a lot of contact with uh, many uh, a community, not only Belgium, but everybody. We are more than 170 nationality are living in Belgium. Uh, that's why it's, uh, the Egyptian communities are very uh, busy in uh, this way to, to promote for people, for example, all the kind of organizations, uh, the uh, cultural organization we can organize, uh, uh, like uh, Egypt Belge, it's my organization actually, and uh, they will promote in our social media uh, all uh, news about uh, Egypt, what's going on uh, on the time of Corona, and uh, how Egypt is safe. Uh, uh, during the visiting here in our resorts and our hotels, uh, how we start the new season, and all this uh, news we bring it for the, our friends, the Belgian people, and everybody's living in Belgium. And I think uh, that that's the best way uh, to to make uh, direct promoting for people. Uh, yes, face to face, uh, just to speak about. Uh, I'm sure when I come back to to Belgium, everybody will ask me how I enjoy in Egypt, and I think that's the best way. And this year, it was a lot of people from Belgium they are visiting here in Egypt. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, the Ministry of Tourism launched a number of campaigns, especially on social media. How do you see the importance of uh, social media campaigns uh, in promoting tourism and especially for expats and uh, Egyptians living abroad? Uh, it's great uh, to start uh, these campaigns because uh, we need material. If I want to promote for my country, for sure I cannot uh, uh, take my uh, video self and uh, promote it. I need uh, the help from the Ministry of Tourism. Uh, like this company, I can use it uh, well everywhere to show uh, all the different cities because we cannot forget uh, uh, the social media, the power of social media is, uh, is great at this, at, at this time and everybody's interesting for social media and everybody's getting all the news more from the social media that's why I think it's a great campaign and I hope we can uh, continue this kind of campaign for the whole year uh, not only uh, for the World Day of Tourism but uh, it's a great idea and uh, I'm very happy for what they are doing yes well uh, sir how do you view the foreign ministry support uh, to expats through its embassies and consulates uh, actually they are doing well also because uh, uh, as you know, in the last two years, in the corona time, 
we cannot uh, we cannot go direct to to fix a meeting or to finish our paper that's why the the facility for us uh, all the all what we need we can online start to to, uh, to ask for our problem for how to get uh, a meeting if it's possible for example to, to to we can send also all our uh, document by post that was uh, new for us uh, over there and uh, it's they are doing well actually because uh, uh, the Persian minister it's one of the real minister what we needed all of our document all of what we need in our embassy and consulate it's the Persian for sure mm -hmm. uh, that's why they are what they are doing it's a great job and i want to thank them for all what they do it and the last time uh, because uh, uh, for sure also the minister of immigration also because they are they are doing a good job uh, good work together with uh, uh, with all the other ministers uh, to uh, to help uh, egyptian expat mm -hmm. Uh, also, the role of Egyptian students studying abroad. How do you see the importance of the role in uh, uh, promoting tourism also? They are also our ambassadors abroad. For sure, they are our ambassadors and uh, it's an honor to, to, to know that the Egyptian immigration, uh, the Ministry of Immigration, they are starting uh, this uh, kind of, uh, of program, especially for the student, Egyptian student in, uh, yes, in abroad, because it's uh, you know, in each university where they are study, it's uh, a lot of events, a lot of activity. They are promote. They can uh, promote Egypt very well there because everybody know. Ah, oh, you are coming from Egypt. You study here. How is over there? And uh, it's. Uh, that's a good role for them uh, to be ambassador for Egypt and for sure to organize also events uh, because uh, uh, Egyptian uh, day, it's a great idea to organize it everywhere in the whole world. Uh, that's why we need uh, really all this kind of student uh, to be with, uh, with Egypt, uh, to, uh, to work all together because it's, uh, uh, if we achieve something, it will be for all of us. Mm -hmm. Uh, sir, to what extent does the Ministry of uh, Immigration uh, support uh, talented expats in various fields? Uh, yes, uh, actually we are, we, we have a lot of different experience, uh, as you see in uh, different fields, so that means uh, uh, all the Egyptians around the world, everybody have his own job, his own uh, life. Uh, they are coming all from different culture. Uh, we can, uh, the Egyptian community in America is totally different than the Egyptian community in Africa or Asia or somewhere. Mm. Uh, so if we get uh, all this uh, different uh, virus from, uh, uh, from Egyptian everywhere around the world, uh, it will be great uh, to, to start to do something like uh, in the time of uh, Corona, that mm. we never can forget it. How the immigration, the Minister of Immigration, they are doing uh, how they bring all the Egyptian expect uh, here back to Egypt and uh, how to to welcome them in Egypt and how to integrate them in in the in our society back. Because as you know, if somebody leave his country when he come back, it's not so easy to to integrate uh, back. But uh, with the help and the, the support of the uh, inti uh, integrations for sure they are or for the immigration uh, ministers they can uh, it's helping well right well i would like to thank you very much mr yusuf abdel eder member of the egyptian community in belgium thank you very much for joining us sir thank you and dear viewers that brings us to the end of uh, this edition of car local time many thanks for watching and stay tuned for more coming up here on night international